Jimmy, please say something. James? What? Who are you? Mom, I thought you told Mom, why'd you marry that phony? What is wrong with you? Oh, I can't believe this. You must be the huh? Hopkins boy. Where'd you come from? We've been expecting you. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. Oh, I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very happy indeed. Anyway, I can't spend my life waiting around for naughty little boys. I've got a man to make happy. The headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins, in his study. Okay. His study is over there, boy, in the main building. Don't keep Dr. Crabblesnitch waiting. He's a brilliant man. Brilliant. Yes. So, you must be Hopkins. Uh, uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now, let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've... So here I am at probably the worst school in the country, whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child.
Hey, you're the new kid. Yeah? What's it to you? Friendly, aren't you? Give me a break, loser. Hey, relax, friend. You're all pent up. Go easy or they put you on medication. They did to me. Boy, you nearly sent me insane. That's fascinating. Now if you'll excuse me. I said me. relax, friend. Get off, man. Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country. We don't have a bar in the door, just a soda machine. I can feel you my inside probably changing your right. uniform if you don't want to get in trouble. Liquid sugar is healthy, isn't it? Do they? Hey, how you doing? You must be the new. Thank you. 
there he is. Show me your pedo, Jimmy. Whoa, take the stupid chocolate. You've had it coming. <laughs> Does that make you feel big? Sit back. Oh, don't push me. Feeding time at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. Over there, we got the nerds. Of course, they're complete social outcasts. They look pretty harmless. They're actually sneaky bastards. Their turf is the library. And those are the preps. They're all money and condescending attitudes. Yeah, massively inbred and completely brainless. Very observant, Jimmy boy. Now over there are the greasers. They think they're tough. Or at least try to look tough. Wouldn't advise messing with them, at least not yet. They hang by the auto shop. And last but not least, the jocks. These guys rule the school. Definitely avoid them. Whatever, I'm not afraid of some dumb roid monkeys. You'll learn. Come on, let's go. You're here to learn, not to goof off. Get to class. What are you doing in here? Oh, right. Class. Take care to follow my instructions precisely, as we will be working with volatile chemicals today. Fascinating, isn't it? Keep up the good work. You're almost done. Hmm, very good. Satisfactory work, Kate. I'll see you. I rock! <laughs> and done. <laughs> You seem to be making yourself quite comfortable here, my boy.
Jimmy comes through again. So that's a good idea, right? Yeah, okay, all right, sure, I'll do it. <clears throat> hey man, what's going on? Not much. I was just telling Petey here about my idea to take over the school. I mean, my plan for...
thinking a lot about snails recently. They're slimy. Excuse me. Hey, Algernon. I heard you wet your bed again. Just wait. Come on, punk. Do it. Ah, oh, foul villain. Hey, fight I fair. Really, 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 really. Let's do this. Thanks! Go on, Petey. Go cry to the teacher. Tell them I was nasty to you. Shut up, Gary. You're such a jerk.
This is gonna be fun. Harassing some old homeless guy is fun. It is. And you should be well, grateful you're not the victim for once. Money I, lent him. I guess. Hey, Jimmy, tell me about this guy. Does he like to go in his own pants? Where is this dirty old perv? You know. Ever see what Mr. Galloway keeps in his desk? Stuff lying around everywhere. when you come back. some?
You lame jerk. Are you inbred or just naturally dumb? You're stupid and ugly. Don't look at me, loser. No, you want to fight? Man. Your butt is mine. I don't have time to bother with you. Sugar and caffeine. Taste the chemical freshness. Awesome. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that out. Ladies 
gentlemen, I'm Miss Phillips, and it is my pleasure to induct you into the world of arts. with me <laughs> hi why do I get so nervous around boys just wanted to show you I care oh Jimmy that's so nice of you you smell <laughs> real good <laughs> you're so bad I wish someone would cause some Hopkins is dominating I just don't understand that was easy you push too far. Let's go. I can't believe anyone likes condiments. I mean, so you're gonna start fighting hard? Come on, Candy. That was an amazing. Hi there. Give it back! Or what? Or, well, just give it back! Are you threatening <gasps> me, Metal Mouth? No, I just, just give it back! You can't just steal things from me! <laughs> Unfortunately for you, my pig ugly friend, that is exactly what I can do. In fact, I can do anything I like in this place. Anything at all. Ciao, Spotty. Give it back! And you should stay out of the girl's dorm, you little perv. Ugh, I see you undressing me with your eyes. Sicko. You wish. Please, will you help me? Do I have to? Hey, Gary. I need to get some...
Self clear. All right, wimps, it's time for some wrestling instruction. This rule will require physical contact between you and your opponent. Don't any of you enjoy it? My tender soul crushed. My esteem is full and lower. I have so many you years ahead of me! You wanna fail this class, Rocket? Rushing blow, fatty. That's what I'd like to see! Please! I am nervous! You don't wanna touch me! My smell is contagious! Do something, Rocket! Your 
I said I'd do it. Maybe I should have... Hey, what's going on? Not much. I was just... Let's go get Pete. Guys, I look like a nice jerk. Costume. Thank <laughs> you. 
everyone's gonna laugh at you. I smell free food. Friends? Friends are for the weak. Let's do it. Thanks. I can't believe I switched my meds again. Why are you put You don't even understand. Sure. Oh, many thanks. 
your assistance. Yeah, all right. Thank you kindly. Through. Is that a hat? Or is that... Why are you picking ah! on me? I think a dog pissed ah! on your pants, Dingus. Ah! A fat kid can only take so much! center of my universe. Sheesh. Who cares if I can't get it right the first time? She didn't know what she was doing. Since that's it. <laughs> there you are. Come on. I found Switch. Not here, follow me. Now here's another switch I used to... Whoa, fly flyers! Hmm, looks like I'll have to hold this down to get the power while you climb through and get the switch. Great! I can use 
that. I've never seen one. up again. The place where this school separates the men from the boys, the wheat from the chaff, and all that nonsense. Okay, so what's that got to do with standing up to people, keeping them in line? This is where I stand up to you, my friend. What are you talking about? Jimmy boy, here we are. Now, jerk, ecstatic. I love to watch two morons beat the crap out of each other. Why'd you do it, Gary? I thought we were friends. <laughs> friends? You and me. I've taken dumps that had more brains than you, friend. No, I'm taking over this school, and you're just a liability. See you around, moron. Well done, Jimmy. Yeah, great. What a waste of time. You all right, Russell? Oh. Mm. Oh. Yeah? Look, I never said anything about your mom or farmyard animals. You did it? No, but I want you to stop bullying weak kids. Why? Ah, because there are a bunch of kids around this place who need a beating, and you're picking on the few who don't. So I want you to leave me and him alone. Oh, OK. Sorry. Bad Russell. With Russell pacified, I could be forgiven for thinking my troubles at Bullworth were over. But this place is a rotten onion. Peel off one stinking layer, and there's another even smellier one beneath.
Well, Jimmy, word on the street is you're something of a pugilist. No, sir, I never pugilized in my life. Really? And that you've been saying some entertaining things about me and some barnyard animals? No, I never said that. Well, I listen to things, Hopkins. You try and stay out of trouble. Now go see the cook down in the kitchen. Helping her might teach you some humility. Okay. that.